So the Turkish Grand Prix, 58 laps, 5.3 kilometers. Uh, it's set just outside of Istanbul, uh, and it's a it's a great circuit, uh, fantastic for overtaking, uh, and also quite a big challenge for, for setup. Turn one is a, like a medium speed corner, and uh, requires on carrying uh, quite a lot of speed into the corner, coming off the brakes. Previous years I've been there with uh, with young drivers; they tend to stop the car too much. And then, for example, in the last uh, three corners are uh, lower speed; they tend to brake too deep as well. So this kind of uh, a brake modulation will try to uh, to show Pastor. I won the last year in GP2. Uh, it was an amazing track, especially corner A, the most famous corner of that circuit. It's four corners in one. But you sit in a steady state for a, for a long time uh, with, with extremely high loading on the car, so it loads all the tyres up. Uh, it'll be a big challenge for Pirelli uh, when they go there for the first time to make sure the tyre structurally is, is sound. Straight after that, you've got a slow corner and then a very long straight. And that straight isn't isn't exactly straight; it's got a fast kink in it, uh, and that always ends up with overtaking possibilities down into the last last uh, corner. You have this one second rule where you have to be within one second of the car in front of you for for you to enable your rear wing. And it'll be one of those tracks where you can definitely make that gap. Amazing track, really amazing. Yeah, I think it's one of the best track during the season.